Hi everybody, happy to welcome you back to the day 3. In the day 1, we saw para 1 to 6, whereas in the day 2, we saw para 7 to 21. Now, we are at page 128, para 22 in our textbook. Please look at the book. Looking for the further information about David? Here follows it. Let's go. David has 144 icons on the screen that he uses with eco point I gaze. When David uses with eco point I gaze, there are visible 144 icons on the screen. When David first tried this access method, his response was, I like it, it makes me faster, when can I have one? David liked this access method very much even at his first attempt because he said to himself that he liked that device and added that it made him faster and asked when he could have another opportunity to use this device. Now David uses his eco to and eco point to access the curriculum, study for his GCSE, order food and communicate while he is in restaurants and argue with his brother. You name it, David can communicate it. By using this eco point device, David could get the curriculum which means subject. He could study for his GCSE. Not only that, but also he could order any food and any drinks through communicating while he is in restaurants such as hotels or cafe. Moreover, he could argue with his brother by using this eco point device. At height, if we name that is mention any object, David can easily identify that and he can communicate that object. David will now use his eco to, to speak in complete sentences with correct syntax. Syntax means the way that words and phrases are put together to form sentences, that is, rules for arrangements of words. David can speak fluently in complete sentences using this eco too. It has increased the number of words he uses meaningfully and comments socially using the language of his peers thereby becoming a confident and competent communicator. Peers means same aged people. Competent means having enough skill or knowledge. This device teaches him many vocabularies. So, David is now able to speak meaningfully and he can give social comments too. Thus, he becomes a confident and competent communicator, that is, a skilled speaker. David has recently been working on idioms with his ESLT, his latest being, Mum has got a lot on her plate. ESLT is the abbreviation of speech and language therapy. Using this SLT, he is working on how to use idioms and phrases. His recent spoken or used idiom is, Mum has got a lot on her plate. This idiom doesn't mean that there are a lot of food on plate. It really means to have a lot of work or problems to deal with. So, David often says that his mom has a lot of work or problems to deal with. David is also an advocate to other students who use AAC and shows them how easy it is to communicate using the AC method. AAC we learnt the expansion of AAC in the last class. Can anybody recall it? Good. It is Augmentative and Alternative Communication. AC is 
alternative communication. David often motivates and advises the other students who are the beginners of using AAC. He tells them happily that communicating with the other people using the AC method is very easy. He controls his PlayStation with a bespoke switch system, drives his electric wheelchair with head switches and uses the eco point eye gaze system to communicate, access the computer to check on how the Chelsea football team is doing and send and receive text messages. When he is at home, he also plays mp3 on his eco 2 from morning till night. Bispoke is a one which is made specially. The equivalent word for it is tailor made. David has lot of features. Shall we list them all out? Right. Number one, by using head switchers, he can drive his wheelchair. Number two, by using eco point, he can communicate. Number three, by using eye gaze system, he can send and receive text messages. Number four, by using the same, he can check on how the football team named Chelsea is playing. Above all, he can play and hear MP3 on his eco too, even for the whole day. David has recently been selected to travel to Brazil to work with the Olympic opening ceremony team as part of the remix drama group. Ceremony means function and celebration of an event. The happiest news is the Olympic team has recently selected David to work with the remix drama group in the opening ceremony of Olympic. Soon he will fly over to Brazil. I guess technology makes your life easier. Maybe it means you can keep in touch with your family, you can talk to and even see relatives who live far away. Alicia proudly says that through technology our life has become easier. We can keep in touch with our family even though they are far away. Far away means in distance. Well, Kim has shown me that technology can do even more for young disabled people like me. Can we forget this Kim? No, not possible because Kim is the assistive technologist of Alicia. This Kim has shown Alicia that technology can do even more helps for young disabled people like Alicia and David. It can help us make friends, communicate and control our environment like turning the lights on and out. It can help us study, get qualifications and find opportunities for work. It can make us confident and independent. The technology helps in making friends, in communicating with people, in controlling our environment, in studying our subjects, in getting qualifications, in finding opportunities for work, in making us be confident and independent. Dear students, we are almost at the end of this lesson. The last but not the least character in this story is Mr. Stephen Hawking. World-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking is probably the best example of how assistive technology has helped a talented mind overcome physical impairments and contribute productively to the world. There are many disabled people who overcome their disabilities. The best example of them is Stephen Hawking, a world-renowned physicist. Renowned means famous and respected. Physicist means a scientist who studies physics. With the help of assistive technology, Stephen Hawking has overcome his physical impairments. Impairments means part of body or brain does not work correctly. Overcome means to win over something. He is 
also contributing productively to the world contribute means to give service money or goods to help somebody productively means doing or achieving a lot the synonym of productively is fruitfully look forward to is a phrasal verb which means to anticipate expect or wait for a possible result inclusive means including everything that is a better way cloistered means enclosed by existence means being present we know in olden days many disabled learners were enclosed by that is surrounded with difficulties in learning that situation disappeared now we can now expect a better way of learning as we have come across many differently abled learners like alisha david and stephen hawking truly these people are the tech bloomers newer technology allows differently abled learners to learn with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process of learning this is indeed the new era of learning truly learning for all peers are the same aged group modern technology permits the disabled learners to learn everything with their same aged group like normal human beings they too contribute that is give their services fruitfully productively and usefully to the collaborative process of learning collaborative process means produced by or involving two or more parties working together indeed means actually hence we can certainly call this modern era is a period for learning do you know former president apj abdul kalam was concerned about people with disability and along with his team developed a lightweight prosthetics from space age material to enable disabled children to walk easily concerned means worried or having pity prosthetics are artificial parts of body space age means modern and advanced age enable means help having pity on people with disability our former president apj abdul kalam gave permission to develop lightweight prosthetics that is lightweight artificial parts of body from modern and advanced materials thus he is really helpful in enabling the disabled children to walk easily with some indian innovations we can move to the ending part lichen shoes by crispy and lawrence this gps and bluetooth enabled shoes help the disabled navigate streets based on instructions from map software on smartphone the app also records route and counts steps crispian lawrence has made a pair of shoes it is named lichen shoes it is attached with gps and a bluetooth it helps the disabled people walk on streets it gives instructions from map software which is attached and linked to your smartphone we can record our route and we can even count our steps while using this shoes blee watch by industrial designers newpura kirloska and janavi joshi of mumbai this smart watch for the hearing impact converts sound waves into vibrations and color codes to alert users to emergency sounds and ringing doorbells it even helps them feel the rhythm of music 
the industrial designers Nipura Kirloskar and Janavi Joshi of Mumbai have made a smart watch named Bli. This is for the people, those who are unable to hear. They are called hearing impact. This watch converts the sound waves into vibrations and color codes. It alerts the users to emergency sounds and it rings doorbells. It even helps them to hear music. I jest by Anil Prabhagar, IITM professor and co-founder of Enability Technologies. This wearable device tracks gestures of speech impaired people and speaks for them. Anil Prabhagar, a professor and co-founder of Enability Technologies has made a wearable device named iJust. This device recognizes the gestures. Gestures are the movements. Speech impaired people. These are the people who are unable to speak. So, this device recognizes the speech of other people and it can speak instead of the speech impaired people. My dear sweet children, this is the time to arrive at the conclusion. Technology makes the world shine. Technology stops the rain and even it stops the rain. Technology can modify the machine as a human. It can even modify the human as machine. Disabled can become abled. If technology is used too much, abled can also become disabled. Whether you are abled or disabled, it is in the hands of technology. So, please remember, technology can be used to rule the world, not to ruin the world. With this, we can end the prose 5. I hope you understood the lesson well. Doubts, comments and suggestions are always welcome. This is Nohi Take care. Goodbye. Meet you soon.